Hey folks, it's Tom Quills, and welcome back to more Mountain Blade 2 Band of the Lord. Last we left off, we managed to, well, unfortunately lose a decent amount of men, well I say a decent about 15 men, to the Vlandians, an unfortunate tactical mistake of ours, but we still won the battle. But what we're doing right now is what we're on our way to do, this is the last left off, is we're on the way to pick up some more wonderful uh, soldiers, because once well, we lost a few good men, and we need to get some more men back into our army. There's a lot looking over here. One thing I'm going to check first is our party, because I'm not going to pull recruits if I don't absolutely have to. We do have a lot of men here, so I feel like I can actually wait off and try and recruit recruits because I don't think it's going to do me too much favors if I do. So what I am going to do here, I just realized this, I'm going to go ahead and not do the arena because that's not what we want to do. I want to do the keep and I'm going to donate off some prisoners because, well, I don't really just want to keep her out of the fight. But yeah, I don't, I don't want to donate anymore. What we're going to do is just go ahead and wait now for these wonderful troops to want to join us. We've got a lot of men who will hopefully join us in the future, particularly I'm looking at these guys. So Vlandian infantry actually aren't half bad. If anything, they're pretty much on par with the Imperial Legionaries. I think the only difference, I don't believe Vlandian sergeants or infantry have javelins compared to the veterans and the Legionaries of the Imperium. Uh, or the Empire, but either way, they're still very, very good fighting units, and I actually do like their aesthetics. They're probably my second favorite aesthetically uh, looking army or units in the game when it comes to at least infantry. Uh, that's just how I think about it. I don't know. If I had to go, but again, between like factions that have some of the best looking units, I gotta go with the... with the Empire? Oh, that's not good. Hey, Caladog, buddy, um... They are here. I don't know what they're doing. Can you help uh, take this castle any toner? Because that's 513 of them. I imagine they're coming to stop you. We need to get into this battle here and help them so they don't lose as much. The reason being is simulations tend to make them lose more troops than just the actual battle themselves. Because uh, if we do the actual battles, a good chance only about 60 to 100 of them will get killed. If we were to do the simulation, it would be probably two to three times that number. So we're going to do the battle. I'm going to retreat my people right away because we're, not, we're joining this battle rather late. And I don't want to lose any men because knowing how the mechanics work, my archers are going to be the first one to get up to the archer areas. And I just do not want them to die, so we're going to retreat them. There's plenty of men here still, so let's just get our guys out of here before they actually do anything. As you can see, all our palantine guards are just running away, which is like, I, I like to see that. It's a bit cowardly of me, but again, since I wasn't in the army to begin with, I feel like it's the right thing to, for me to do, at least tactically, in terms of preserving my experience and holding us off for situations where we really do need them. Again, this is a castle that I don't think is of all too important, so losing men over it isn't that ideal. Uh, keep in mind, I know I did say I would like to have this castle, but under no you know circumstances am I inclined to believe that I'm going to actually get it. Um, it'd be a nice thing if I could, but it's I don't know if it's going to happen. I do need to be careful here. They're taking a lot of shots at me, or not a lot of shots at me, but around me. Uh, can't really see all too well because of the smoke. I can't see where my shots are landing. Okay, well, it doesn't matter on that guy because I know that hit him. Let's see, is that going to be another? Oh, he ducked right beneath that one. All right. There we go. Another headshot. Don't wait. Really, I do not like shooting at crossmen. They're just really annoying to fight. Hopefully, he stands back up here. Right, it doesn't matter because I missed. Let's see. That should hit him. There we go. Wonderful. Do the same for him over here. One hit. Can we get a second? Okay, can we get a third? Can we get a kill shot is what we're looking for. There we go. We should probably get rid of that hardened crossbowman. That's what he looks like? That is a hardened crossbowman. I missed that. That's too low. How's that too low of a shot? Or I'm just missing. I actually can't tell. There we go. Now he's done for. I would move up again. Can't really see all too well. And I don't like fighting crossbowmen. They do a lot more damage than bows most of the time. Unless I believe they do. I don't know. If, I think that's the trade-off. I think crossbows do more damage, but the bows fire faster. So you can get more bow shots off, but... I don't know, I think bows just tend to outclass crossbowmen in large numbers just because they can get more shots off. And I think theoretically kill faster than crossbows can. I don't know, it's actually something I gotta test out maybe in uh, one of the old single player battles, see what happens there. The best crossbow units versus, uh, I wanna say tier 5, so probably Palantine guards will do. Uh, obviously having them go up against a noble unit wouldn't be too fair. What have we lost so far? We have lost... All my men are out, I'm the only one left, perfect. So. We haven't lost anything so far. We haven't lost anything major. We've lost 13 men. Again, that number probably would have been a lot higher if this was a simulation. Hopefully we can get some damage on these crosswomen here. That's my biggest thing is hopefully getting them off the walls. They've got a lot of men, so I honestly think it's going to come down to this front gate. Once this front gate falls, I think the siege is won. Um, and they okay, didn't have any any uh, catapults, or we would not have gotten the siege, uh, the battering ram uh, to this gate, because this is one of the castles where they can very easily destroy them. There's some castles that really there's no point in being given catapults because you just cannot destroy the battering rams. 
just because of how like the hills work. Let's see. We're going for headshots. I'm at 21 arrows. I thought I had less arrows than that, but I'm not complaining. It's just surprising to me. Going for headshots. I love seeing these headshots. These headshots are so nice. We actually do have a decent amount of archers going off of Piers. Who are these archers? A lot of Imperials. Okay, those are all just Imperial archers. Not our own. Maybe want to get this guy off of the, the Ballista, because those things have one-shot men. I don't see a whole lot of them left in the walls. Are there any there? Nothing I can see of. No. Do they actually have... They do. I love that. Okay, so I... There was that one thing, it's... I can't remember what this is called, but it allows you to shoot down a man who got too close to the walls. Obviously you can't see here, but it is something for the gate. Which I love to see, it's really cool. Um, are they gonna break through this anytime soon? It doesn't look like it, because they're not using the full portion of the gate. So we're gonna help here. Hopefully we're not gonna get a rock dumped on our head, which is my biggest fear. But as soon as this gate's open, we're gonna back off and let them fight. Because we don't do so well in, uh, really fighting. We've actually only lost 15 men so far. That number hasn't gone up a whole lot, so that's really good for us. So yeah, don't think this, uh, this is gonna go too terribly. Can we sneak around to the side? It might be dangerous. Can we go through this way? I'm hoping I can just kind of get around to the side and just pepper him from a distance. This is my plan. Uh, cause I obviously can't really fight all too well. I just, then it wasn't me. I swear to God that wasn't me. I'm not sure where these guys are coming from or where they're going, but that, ow, the crossmen are repositioning for whatever reason. Don't, don't do that. I can't, they just don't stand still. Okay, that defense line was just broken. Uh, I don't know where they're going. Doesn't matter. Let's see. Hey, buddy. Could you guys... He's, he's retreat. What? Who are you? Okay, we're not letting you get away. Oh, I thought the, I thought the line broke sooner. Okay, I guess not. So, yeah, it's really just... Uh, not a whole lot left. We lost 33. Again, yeah, if we let that simulation go, I would have expected another 300 men to get lost. So now this army can actually turn around and help fight off the also wonderful Vlandian army approaching from the south, uh, which is probably the biggest concern. Uh, but, I mean, with them all having 500 men, we should have more than them, uh, even after the siege. Or at least a decent amount more than them. Or actually, not a decent amount, but maybe only like a couple, you know, a dozen more than them, I think about it. They had a 500-something men in that? I think about 501, actually, lower, close to 500. We're, I'm so confused. The Vlandian infantry are just running all over the place. And only 44 losses, not bad. Again, the only reason we have 100 people who retreated is because they're my men. I don't want them to suffer. I don't want to lose them because I feel like we're going to need them for this upcoming battle. And I'd much rather not lose my battalion, or not my battalion, my, my Palatine guards to a bunch of crosswomen because they're the only archers up on the walls. But yeah, battle one, simple as that, easy. We didn't get a whole lot of influence from that. It doesn't really matter. It's what I expected, so we'll see what we can do from here. Okay. We got our relations improved. We have some prisoners here. Do any of them want to join us? Yes, they do. So we'll go ahead and take some of them in. The Vlandian Infantry want to join us as well. Congratulations, Vlandian Infantry. You're one of the first few Vlandians to join my army. Actually, you are the first individual to join my army. So congratulations to that Vlandian. That nice Vlandian. Uh, where'd he go? Infantryman. There. there he is. Imperial Infantryman is, for some reason, up here. There we go. I think this is organized right now. We need to move the... I'd like to have my infantry at the top, my archers at the bottom. Let's just double check this is in the right order. Yeah, it goes infantry, swordsmen, or footmen, infantry, swordsmen. And I think infantry have kite shields. They do. Not good kite shields, but compared to the... Vla Hold on. Let's look at an Imperial infantryman. I think they have the same shields. They definitely look the same. Again, as you can tell, the biggest difference is Vlandian footmen come with spears, so they're a little bit better at stopping cavalry than our Imperial guys are. And the trained infantrymen are tier 3. Infantry come with javelins. Looking at the infantry for the Vlandians, they do not. They come with spears. So there's a big difference. Vlandians, again, are very much into, like, you, you, the whole knight part of their army. They like to be little good horse counters. Um, so I don't know. Can we change this? We can. Heavy infantry, heavy cavalry. I'd like them to be really short. Let's cavalry. Huh. I don't want to say the skirmishers, because that means I have to command a lot more different people. No, we're not going to have enough of them to really justify putting them into a whole different formation. So we're not going to do that. It was just interesting to look at, because I haven't actually done that before. I think it would have been nice if I could have figured something out. We do have a lot of loot on us, actually, now that I look at that. Let's see, we've taken that castle, so now hopefully this army can turn around. I do suspect this... Are they going to be coming for us? I need to be careful here. 
I'm not sure what that Vanity Army was doing, so we definitely need to be looking out for them. Look, do I want to go hunting for them? That's actually a dangerous thing to do. We can't even vote for ourselves here, so we're just going to abstain voting. Of course, we won't be able to get that castle unless we trade for it somehow down the line, or we just go ahead and just give it to us with console commands, but we don't have those cheats enabled, so we're not going to do much about it. Let's see. My question is, again, where did that army go? Because that is my biggest concern. If it's, It doesn't look like it's raiding anywhere. Is it sieging? I'm very confused on where that army went. It's traveling to Elena, and I want to find it. Or at least I want to make sure it's not sieging anywhere. The fact that we have people over here makes me a little... Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't... F oh, they're stopped here. I think they are in a battle. I don't have, there would be no reason for Caldog's army to be stopped unless they were fighting. And it looks like they did fight without me, unfortunately. I was in, I went the wrong direction. We would have been actually getting into that fight, but oh well, not much we can do about it now. Large group of looters here. I'm just going to attack them and charge my infantry in to kind of get them some more improvements. Uh, archers, I don't really know if we charge! really have a reason to do much. We have a trained archer there. One veteran. Yeah, we have one trained archer and one veteran. So we actually almost have... Oh! Full, 53 Palantine Guards is so crazy. It's so It looks so good. I love the oh, gold what? on them. It's such a nice look. I kind of wish Legionaries had a bit more gold on them, but goddamn, they look fine indeed. And I, th I, th I think, actually, in some regards, I do prefer the Tier 5, the Vlandian Sergeants Come over on, the Legionaries, because they just look a bit cooler. Uh, if, if, again, Legionaries had gold, perfect unit. Best, best melee unit. I don't even care if there is noble melee units. I don't think there are, but oh well. No, I just, I, I don't know, I like the look. I'm a big fanboy of the Vlandians in the Imperium, uh, Empire. I keep saying Imperium like I'm playing Warhammer 40k. Never played the game, but I'm a pretty big, at least I, I like I like some of the lore. I like watching some stuff for it. God, I mean, ooh. Some battle reports are always fun to watch if they're done well. What are we talking about? Oh, we're Banner Lord. All right, we're playing Banner Lord. <laughs> Forgot what we're doing for a second. I carried away thinking about something else. All right, let's see. I have been thinking about though, what I will say is while we're busy mopping up some people here, mopping up these wonderful looters, I am thinking about doing another series. Not another series of Banner Lord. At least not for a bit after this one is complete. Who knows what we'll do. Maybe one that won't take so long. We'll cheat, a little, we'll cheat, a, we'll cheat just a little bit. But I am thinking about doing another game that I have done in the past, or tried to do in the past before uh, I didn't have the proper system requirements or the editing tools. I'm thinking about RimWorld. It's a little strategy game. If you know what RimWorld is, hopefully this sounds interesting to you. Uh, but if not, I mean... We'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Look it up. It's a fun little management game. Uh, not the best, but obviously not the best at it or a lot of strategy management games, but I like to play them nonetheless because watching stuff kind of grow from the bottom to the top is really fun in my opinion. But we did get some improvements there for our army, so that's perfect. We'll take that. Yeah, 52 Palantine Guards. Oh, we do have two Imperial Trained Archers, so I must have missed one in that, missed one in that formation. Uh, the Vlendian Gallant wants to join us, but we're not going to take him with us at the time being. We're still missing about two people, so we're waiting for two more of these individuals to join us. But once they do, we'll be in pretty decent shape. Let's see. We have a lot of loot, and I'd like to drop it off. One thing I would like to do, though, is take this castle. I really would. We don't have the we do have the influence somewhat to take the castle, uh, but I would like to take a city. Taking another city would be fantastic, and we do have a lot of influence. So. I'm thinking if we can get to about 120 influence, I'd like to take another city, hopefully a revolt or something like that. Whether or not I'm going to be able to do that before we declare peace is up for debate, but I'm hoping things go well because if they do, we'll get another city. And again, I'd love to have northern cities. I know all my cities are kind of scattered around the map at the moment, which makes it a little, a little problematic, but maybe we'll figure that out in the future. I have no idea. So I got 20,000 gold from all this wonderful loot. And so we can tell we have a pretty nice reserve of gold. Is there anything? Please tell me. I have been waiting for it for so long. I require it. It is so close. I can... Mm, so disturbing. I want to see that Warlord armor. I really do. I wonder, have they fixed that weird glitch when it comes to the visual bug? I have no idea. The Warlord bracers, again, on females, it works just fine. But as you see here, they will appear brown and, like, untextured. I don't know why they look brown, but it's just what they do. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be buying that anytime soon. We could easily afford it, but we're not going to. Let's double check to see if they actually do have a better bow real quick. If they have a normal bow, we're definitely going to get it. It doesn't look like they do, so we're going to leave it there. We do have Alba in our army, but I don't see a reason to really equip her with too much better gear at the moment. So, we'll leave her be for now. But, yeah, with that being said, we're going to go to Luke back down. Kind of explore these northern territories a little bit. If we can take this castle, that would also be really nice. So, yeah, Caliace was also... 
I don't think it's going to be, with all these new factions or these new clans joining the kingdom, the chances of us actually getting another castle or even a city is going to be a little bit lower because the AI wants to make sure that its nobles or its uh, vassals have at least some form of property or fife to help pay for their armies. So I don't know if it's going to be likely that we'll be able to really get another, or at least successfully, get another fife. What is going on? We appear to be frozen. There we go. Not sure what happened there. Interesting little bit of lag. Revolt. Revolt has a lot of defenders in it. Even if we take away the party, that's still about 500 in... If I do 30 men? 31 men. Just in the garrison alone there. So not the most ideal. How about Turby Castle? We check out Turby Castle, which I'll go Ostacon as well. Uh, 316, so about the same actually as Armorfard, or I think the exact same last I checked. And significantly less defenders here. Well, not really significantly, I should say. But yeah, less defenders there, so if we were to take a castle, I think Ostacon's looking a bit better uh, for the time being. Yeah, because that's at least 100 more men. About 100 more men uh, at Revolt than at Ostacon. Well, well, I digress, we'll see what happens. Again, taking another castle is going to be fine. Oh, we have two Vlandian infantry willing to join us, so we'll pick them up and call it a day there. And we should be back at full party limit. After these next two individuals are healed up. We did forget to buy grain at the city, so we might go do that real quick because we were running low on food. I believe we'll be slaughtering some animals here soon enough. No, we just sold them off, so no, we won't. But we are running out of grain. We only have about, I think, two and a half days of grain left. Uh, where's the grain? Daily food supply. Yeah, only about two and a half days of food. So we're going to buy some more before we end up starving our men and losing people to wounds and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of inexpensive grain. That is so nice. We can actually afford to take a lot of this food. And it's, we're going to take about 150 of it. It's not too expensive given what we just made after selling stuff to the city. So we'll buy some of that food and call it a day. Hmm. If we were to form an army, which we very well could, then we're losing influence by the day because of the whole wonderful law speaker's role. What do we want to do? We're actually in close to clan tier 4 as well, which would be very nice. Hmm. Oh, we're looking at the wrong thing. This is kingdoms. Or that's, that's clans. Armies. Do we, if we were to form an army, what can we get? Can we keep... We need 81 there. It's not a bad number, 51. That's not bad. This is really good. That's fantastic. So let's see what we can pull out. We got 90 men for 18. That's definitely worth it. In total, this is... What is this? That's 200 men exactly. 400 in, I'm going to say, just like 52, I think is that math. And a cost for how much influence? 54. It doesn't leave us a whole lot, unfortunately. Yeah, it looks like we're going to need some more influence, or else we're not going to really be able to vote for the next castle. But then again, I think the whole point of this is to kind of make sure we can take more territory from the Vlandians, and just so we can give it to our own vassals who desperately need it, who are joining us from getting conquered from the east. So, you know what? I think I got to play the nice guy here. As much as I don't want to, as much as I want these territories, I think I got to make the sacrifice and uh, recruit these individuals just... Uh, just to help out. So yeah, hopefully this will be more than enough. That's 536 men. And we're going to be attacking a 316 strong castle. Not sure how it's going to go, but we're certainly going to try it. We can always overload our army if need be, uh, just for the battle. Don't care about what's going on here, because that's never true. How are we looking on this quest, though? Uh, ooh, that's getting close. Okay, it's only about 114 more points until the quest is activated. And I'm curious to see what happens if, again, if that just activates on the Western Empire and they just get screwed. Because they'll be at war with us, the Batani or the Vlandians. The did this get worse? Didn't? Oh yeah. Okay. This did get worse. So this belonged. I believe last episode this actually belonged to the Asari. Now it belongs to the Kuzites, and they're on track for what looks like world domination. It's a little scary, actually, really scary. So we, yeah, we definitely need to take some sacrifices here. We can't really afford to be selfish and try to get every castle for ourselves. We just got to take castles and just go for it. We're making money too. It's not like we're in desperate need of another city. I'm just doing it because, frankly, I think it'd be nice. But if you unite the empire, even if, it's, even if the Batanians win, technically it'll be an empire. It just won't be the same empire. So we'll see what happens. I digress. Anyways, we're going to start besieging the castle. I'm not sure how close the other parties are. I might do myself by having this develop too close. We're actually going to cancel that. Let's cancel it until we can get them to build some... Nope, leave. We're going to keep canceling until they decide to build. No, I want you to build. Build build some... Oof, okay. I don't actually... Maybe they won't build ballistas. Yeah, okay. 
Well, we're just completely ruining our relationship with them. Oh well. Well, you'll see. Well, I guess we'll just have to besiege and just take our take our chances with it. I thought I could have cheesed it to make it build ballistas just constantly, but who knows? Uh, maybe that was just recently fixed. I have no idea. I don't know who you are, but we're still missing a good amount of men. But we are pretty much bringing the entire Vlandian economy to a halt here. As you can see, this pass is fairly important. You know what? We don't have a whole lot of influence left, but I would like to bring another army in, actually, if possible. Because uh, I don't feel so comfortable. We don't have exactly a whole lot of more men than them in this siege. Uh, so definitely don't want to take too many unnecessary risks. So we'll go back to the army and hopefully we can just pull in another decently chucked army. Uh, I mean, this is going to pretty much cost me a lot of my influence if I do do that. But, oh, you know, we'll call his army in. He's actually pretty close and he's not too much influence, so we'll do that. Actually, where is he? Yeah, I'll call him in. It doesn't matter. So that should help us out a bit more. It gives another 100 plus men and that should be more than enough for us to win this battle against them. Again, they're all building, they're unfortunately building catapults, which means that this siege ram or this battering ram won't do too well. It'll probably get destroyed before it can get to the gate if I believe my ter my uh, my beliefs about the terrain is going to be right. Uh, partially for the fact that it's just going to absolutely tear them apart. There's another army of 380 coming here. So we have two armies over here, which makes me really hopeful that they're going to... This might be problematic. If they get more men, they definitely could turn this on us. They have about 700 plus units sitting there. So we'll see. We do have these... Oh, we don't want to do a fire. It cancels that. We want to just do a normal onager. This could be very dangerous. And hopefully we get this honor get built. I want to siege this castle. And hopefully if we don't lose too much men... We will be able to still turn around and fight them. It's just going to be a very tough battle, but we could absolutely cripple their army. If we defeat two armies with one of our battles, that'll be absolutely huge. I mean, that'll be ridiculously huge, and I can only hope. I don't know if we're going to have enough time to do that in this episode, and I might just save it for the next episode, but I don't know. We'll see. It depends on how long the siege goes. Uh, unfortunately, they do have level 3 walls, which makes it difficult, and yeah, there's not a very good chance of this catapult. If it already took a shot, then yeah, it's definitely not going to make it. Which is an idea. We're going to lose some archers as well uh, because of this. I could retreat my archers, but I don't think I'm going to. I did. I do have the my personal rule. Of, if I create the army, I keep my men in the battle. Did that just... that? What happened there? How are you all not dead? Did, did I not just see a catapult around? You come flinging down on you. Very confused. Again, all I can really hope for is I don't lose too many archers. That's my biggest concern. It doesn't look like they have a lot of archers actually returning fire. A lot of crossmen. Uh, returning fire, so I'm not too concerned, so to say, partially because they have a lot of infantry on those walls. We haven't taken any losses yet. Uh, doesn't mean we're going to at some point. Mo again, mostly just I don't know why the infantry are on the walls. That's interesting to see. Uh, partially because the infantry, I don't know what's going on with that guy's movement. He is having a day of his life. Uh, good shot there, wonderful. Luckily, we do have the or the. The Batanians are getting a lot more archers into their army for the sole fact that they're actually using Imperial recruits and turning them into archers. Because, frankly, the only way for them to get archers is to hire, I think, crosswomen, or to essentially take them as prisoners and recruit them in the army. Uh, otherwise, the only way they also get archers is through the nobles, which are very common, so... I don't know. Not too sure about that. But, again, I'm just happy to see that they're using Imperial archers. I'm again, aiming too low for these. Come on. I really do hate... How are you not dead? Just die. How would that miss? I'm, I didn't even change the target. There we go. Uh, probably should get rid of these guys over here because they're just chilling. I am aiming way too low. For some reason, I'm thinking my bolts need to be... Or my arrows need to be going higher. Let's see. Who is... I can't tell who's shooting at us. Or where who's shooting at us. Are you shooting us from up there? Still no casualties. Not really many casualties, but we're doing damage. Uh, it's gotten 39 kills on them, but as soon as those siege tower gets to get up, we will be taking casualties, which sucks. Uh, I don't really want to lose infantrymen, but if we can get Vlandian prisoners from the next battle, I won't really mind. Especially since we can turn them into our own. Uh, our own. I'm actually starting to think we're not taking so many archer casualties because they can't get their archers to the wall. They have so many infantrymen that they're blocking the archers from getting to their, their, their fortifications. It feels like these siege towers are taking quite a long time to get to where they need to be, though. I don't know if that's just me, but it just... God, whoever is on that catapult is just doing a fantastic job. Like, honestly, just great work. How many have we killed? 46 so far. 47 now. That guy's still alive. I'm running out of arrows, actually. I haven't been able to be too effective with my arrows. 
Look, I see more right there. If I can like, if only I can get on top of him. Uh, hey, buddy, are you gonna shoot at me? Not anymore, actually. Are you gonna shoot at me? Probably. Oh, I missed because I can't aim properly. And you just dodge that one like you're a fucking Jedi Knight. So whatever. Okay, come on. Can we get him? No, he's hiding. He's changing the position. I'm missing. I can aiming way too low, unfortunately. I'm thinking it's like a. Ooh, I don't like that. Yeah, as you can tell, the ram didn't even make it close. That's kind of that's why I don't like. I try to cheese the catapults because they can't really. If they if they build ballistas, they can't really destroy the battering ram. So that's the biggest thing. Um, Casualties still aren't really going up. Surprisingly, I thought they would be. Casualties on neither side is really going up. I'm not sure what's happening to be honest. I assume they're fighting on the walls, but we lost the legionnaire, which is to be expected. I'm surprised it took us that long. But what is happening? Who is that? Oof. Why was he on? The, why are they on the ladder? Why are they? Why are the? Why are the Vlandians on our own ladders? What is happening, guys? I need arrows. I need arrows. Oh, they don't have arrows. They have bolts. Oh shit. Um, this is problematic. We have to take one of the walls, and I'm not sure. This is just gonna be a slow crawl. Why is my horse here? Why is my horse trying to siege the walls? Horse, get out of here! <laughs> my horse is like, listen, Chief, I gotta get on the ladder. I gotta get up the walls. They need me. I can appreciate my horse wanting to help me like that. It's just really interesting to see. So three deaths on our part. Again, three legionaries are dead. Four deaths on our part. But these these uh, these ratios aren't too bad. I was expecting there was a lot more men uh, getting up these ladders, but I guess not much is really. I don't know what's starting to happen to them. I'm just gonna see if I can run past them because I would like to find more arrows. Hey, no, no, I need the arrows. I need the arrows. Just leave me alone. Wait, no, I don't want to do that. I need to fill the arrows. Hey, no, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm not here. I'm jumping down here. You can't kill me. I'm safe. I'm pressing every wrong button. I'm panicking. I don't know what's happening with the smoke. I can't see clearly, but I'm just gonna shoot. I think that's all I can do. Nope, no running. I don't know who you are. You're a crosswoman. No. I need you to die. Don't shoot at me. That's not nice. So what's ha- I don't know what's happening in this battle. I'm really confused. I want to say, like, we've won already, but we have- I feel like there's just a lot of men who aren't doing anything. I don't know if that just- that just seems like it's coming from me. Did they get the door open? Okay, actually, if we get that door open, it'd be a lot better. It looks like they- oh, they're responding to the doors being- are these friendlies? Those are green. Okay. I can't see through the smoke all too well, as you can tell. Uh, okay, we didn't take damage there. Not sh Don't know what's going on there. Don't want to shoot a friendly, but I shot that shield, so it doesn't matter. They really don't like us opening the doors over and over again. So, we're gonna see if we can stop them from closing the doors. And just do what we can do. They have a- I forgot the militia- <laughs> It confuses me. The Vlandian militia archers are just crossbowmen. I don't know why they're calling crossbowmen. Because they're not archers, they're crossbowmen. They're pretty much fleeing, though. I think we've won this battle. Unless they're reporting to a different part of the wall. No, he's turning to fight me, so they're not fleeing. They're just reporting to a different part of the wall. So I'm just going to stop him from doing that. Where are you Where are you going? Where are you going? Veteran archer? Okay. I'm so confused. What is happening here? What is going on? Again, we only lost four men, and that's very weird to see. I was expecting to lose, like, tw t a dozen plus, but we barely took it. Like, the entire army barely took any casualties here. I'm not sure. All right, well, um, interesting. I I don't know what's going on. I guess I'll just wait to let them finish the map. I don't know what's going on. Uh... <laughs> yeah, what is... Wait, where are they? Where are they? My my guys are hunting them down, so I'm trying to figure out what's what's going on, guys. Where are you going? Are you? I'm 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 so confused. I okay, they're inside somewhere. They're fighting now. <laughs> what is happening? I I've never seen the like the AI typically always know where to go to find the next few people. Well, I, then again, in other sieges, I have, I have seen it where the AI will actually get stuck in a wall and thus are unable to be killed. Why are we? Why do I hear a catapult being loaded up? 
Okay, well... I suppose. They were up here. Why did it take us so long to kill the guys in the catapult? What was going on here? That was weird. I don't know what that was. Uh, we didn't get a whole lot of influence from that, but it doesn't matter. It's kind of what I expected. Troops, highwaymen. Not that I want any of these. Nope. Vundian pikemen. Nope, nope, nope. Let's see. We lost four infantrymen. Can we make those up those numbers? We can. Or at least we very can. At the, or we can at the very least for the time being. So that's one. That's two. And that's three, four. Wonderful. So we got our infantry back up. Uh, replaced a lot. We have some more ones, but we're pretty much doing just fine. Taking this city or this castle, a vote will start, but we do have to fight this army now, which there's no point in us running. They have smaller parties. Looking at this is going to be very, very dangerous. But you know what, folks? I am sorry to say, but I got to leave this one for the next video. I'm so sorry. We're over that mark, and I just don't want to, I don't want to go like seven minutes over. So yeah, this, this major battle is going to be held to the next video. I know I made your cliffhanger. It sucks, but we'll get there. Just wait to be up tomorrow or the next day. But yeah, that's for this video end, folks. If you liked what you saw and you want to see more in the future, you know what to do. It's been Jumma Quills, and I'll see you folks in the next one.